Senator Mike Michaud shared his thoughts about the evening. Do a quick introduction of the next speaker. As many of you know, three and a half years ago, when uh, term limits took place, there were 60 new representatives that had to come in. There was uh, many of us that had served in local government. Uh, I don't think any of us had served on Senate and transferred uh, over to the House. So a lot of us had learning curves. A lot of us had growth spurts. A lot of us, um, specifically me, many days were lost. Didn't know where to go, didn't know how to do things. And there was one gentleman that every time I called him, texted him, he took time to say, let me show you. Let me help you. Let me show you what to do to make this process easier and make it better for your constituents. Never one time was I turned down when I asked for any type of help or any type of assistance. The reason I say that is because he's in his last year, we're not be running again for the seat because of term limits. And I will tell you, Acadiana will be losing a huge asset, huge asset to its constituents, to Acadiana, and more specifically to those who lean on him for knowledge and wisdom and assistance. At this time, I'd like to welcome to the stage Senator Mike Michel. I wasn't sure if that was part of his comedy act or what, but uh, <laughs> Jonathan, thank you so much. I, I appreciate the kind words. Uh, I do have a, a few comments I want to make before I do that. I know that Judge Connery is in the audience from the 16th JDC, and also I saw two of our council members, Keith Pate and Sam Dory, that were here, and any other local people that were here. So thank you for your attendance here. You know, this is about the celebration of Acadiana, and we recognize the legislators that were in the delegation when we formed the Acadiana delegation in 1971. And when you think about what's great about the Acadiana, it is our food, it is our culture, it's certainly our music, and, and we are a cultural gumbo. When you think of a facility like this that can house a Cajun band one night and a blue, bluegrass band the next night and have a, a performer, an individual performer, uh, the following night, that's what Acadiana is all about. And when you can serve crawfish safety fate right next to sushi, right across the hall, <laughs> I mean, that's the you know? that's, that's Acadiana. But uh, I do want to say that lately my, my greatest claim to fame since I am leaving the legislature is that uh, this band that you're enjoying tonight is the Lost Bayou Ramblers, and two of these boys are my nephews, Andre and Louis Michaud, uh, who have they've, they've taken uh, their God-given talents and the talents that they inherited from me and the rest of the Michauds to a, to a, whole, to a whole new level. One. And uh, their parents are here, my brother Tommy and his wife Kay. And, and I want to give a, a, a special welcome uh, to someone who's very near and dear to us. And uh, not only uh, did he serve in public office as a member of the legislature, and he was the superintendent of education when, when uh, these guys uh, formed the KDA delegation. Uh, he's the grandfather of these boys, and he's my father. Uh, please join me in welcoming Louis Misha. We might be here till 10 o'clock if we, if we turn over the microphone to him because he's, he's, still, he's still got the gift. But uh, I, I just want to say that this is what's great about our area and this is what's great about what we can do when we work together. This facility is an example of what can happen when the Acadiana delegation pulls together. We come together and work for the good of our region. We leave our political party and our geographic lines at the door when we try to do what's best for our area. And this is an example. And I want to say that what happened in the last few days of this special session, uh, championed by Representative Ponte, the Acadiana delegation probably came out better than anyone else in what happened in the congressional redistricting. That's another fine and recent example. Another very recent example of what can happen if we stick together. 
And yes, I'm sorry I'm limited, that's, that's unfortunate. I've enjoyed 16 great years of public service in the legislature, serving the people of Lafayette, and it's, it's been a, a wonderful experience. I served with, with Jay and, and, and Tom in the Senate, now they've gone on to statewide positions. Uh, the, these guys that are now members of the KDM delegation represent the future. They're, they're new, newly elected members, and uh, they're going to be the guys that are going to carry the ball uh, over the next few decades. 